there's still no trace of Tanzanian billionaire Mohamed Doji. He was abducted last week by unknown men who are thought to be foreign nationals. Let's now go to Dar es Salaam for the latest on this. Uh, Daniel, what have the police said so far about their search for Mohamed Doji? Hello, Karen. I am at uh, Mohammed Enterprises Tanzania Limited headquarters in Dar es Salaam, uh, somewhere downtown where the headquarters of the company is. Now, um, we will talk a bit about the police, but what was breaking for us now, the latest, is that the family of uh, the Deuji, Mr. and Mrs. Gulam Deuji, have held a press conference. As you see behind me, we have uh, journalists and, and reporters leaving the scene uh, where they have issued a very short but very concise statement that says that they're issuing a reward of 450 $50,000 to anyone that will give information on the whereabouts of their son. They have confirmed that yes, their son, Mohammed Deuji, has been abducted or kidnapped and that now they're issuing this reward to anyone who will uh, give information that will lead to the uh, uh, catching of the culprit and also getting their son back. Uh, but uh, on the side of the police, as, 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 the, as the most recent reports now from uh, uh, Regional Co Commander uh, Mambo Sasa is that uh, there are about 26 people held uh, for questioning in connection to uh, the kidnapping. We know some of these people are the five uh, guards from the G1 security company that was guarding the Colosseum gym where uh, Mohammed Deuji arrived. We know that there are other people who are not uh, guards but work at the hotel that are also being held for questioning so the police are very sort of discreet with their with their information because they believe some of this information might compromise the operation so that is what has been released to the media so far and uh, Daniel given his high profile not only in Tanzania but throughout East Africa do we know if he had any bodyguards Um, as far as we know, uh, no, uh, Mohamed Deuji, despite being uh, the country's richest and only billionaire, despite being one of Africa's uh, richest men, despite uh, earn, I mean, being valued by Forbes last year at oh, his net worth being over $1.5 billion, he did not live a life of... Uh, of uh, a very you know sort of powerful and rich person he preferred to uh, you know sometimes drive his himself to the gym he preferred to socialize and network with people he preferred to be closer to the people and even his driver himself sometimes was told to you know uh, relax and let him you know go on his own errand so he did not have bodyguards as far as we know and uh, finally uh, let's track back a bit to the police investigations have they said who would want to abduct Mohammed Dochi? No, the, the, the Tanzania Regional Police Commissioner has repeated that they are still investigating who exactly might have done this thing or group, which group perhaps, if it is uh, more than one person that is behind this abduction. We know that um, as far as, as, as we know, the family has not officially or disclosed, even at today's uh, first press conference, 96 hours after the abduction of their son, they have not mentioned any ransom note. So it is a bit hard in, uh, to, to speculate who perhaps would have wanted to do this thing. But we know now as it stands that the Deuji family uh, has announced that they're offering $450,000 to anyone that will give information onto the whereabouts of their son. Okay, thank you for that update. That was Daniel Kijo for us there in Dar es Salaam on the missing Tanzanian billionaire Mohamed Doji.